Hello, my name is C, and today I have four kits to unbox with you from Diamond Art Club. These are all kits that I bought throughout the month of July. Usually I get this video out a little sooner, but timing did not work out, so we're gonna do a full unboxing of um, Witchcraft Room, and then I'll do a shorter version for the rest of these, and we'll take a look at them. Okay. So here we go. This one came in Diamond Art Club's new packaging. So we have a full view. This is that render printed right on the box with that full view of the render. We have all the information, which is Craft Room by Miss Butter T, Diamond Art Club, and their square branding. On the side, we have another look at that image, plus all the details of the colors, specials, total diamonds, things like that. On the back we have how it works, what's included in our kits, and then all your typical warnings. Alright, oh and at the very bottom, let's see, here we go, we have that little thumbnail and name of the artist in case you store these on their sides. Alright, this is always an issue. we go. <laughs> okay, first up, we have a tool kit. In here we have Demeter Club's um, new placer. <laughs> there we go. We have their new placer that comes preloaded with putty, so you twist it and it comes out the end of your single placer. We also get a bag of baggies in case you choose to use these to get up with or store extras or whatever you wish. We get a four placer at the end of the pen and a seven placer. We get a plate of heart shaped wax and a piece of that putty so that you can refill your pen or fill it up the multi placers and diamond art clips tray. This is a nice sturdy tray. I've been using these. This one, really love it, and they're stackable. Um, so that's neat. Okay, let's get into here. So it comes with this little thank you for your purchase, a link to their Facebook group. It's full of like completed kits, helpful tips and tricks, and things like that. QR codes to their app, and then tips and tricks, their kit contents step-by-step -step instructions and here is our sticker sheet so with the name of the kit and the artist all of our stickers and this one comes with two ABs anything below 150 is an AB so we have two here and at the end anything with a letter in front is also a special Z means fairy dust and there's three of those so for a total of 53 colors then we have our start and end date, um, a bigger image, which is all of this is a sticker by the way, and then our kit information. It is 55.8 by 75.9 centimeters. Nice! I love these little stickers. Okay. my opening. Oh, it got crunched. There we go. Alright, so we're starting at the top. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, that's so cute. so we can get a better look at it. You don't need to do this. Standard Club Kits will flatten out on their own. And I would not recommend doing that with anything that isn't um, port glue. 
So only roll your kids backwards if they are poured glue. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love her. <laughs> so rolled up in here, we had our bag of drills. There's a sticker on it with the SKU and the name of the kit, which matches the bottom left corner. If you store things separately, it makes it easy to match things back up. <laughs> All right, we'll do a quick tour of this canvas. So right up at the top, we have diameter clip to it makes you sparkle. We have the legend on the top left and bottom right corners. And this kit does come with that perforated cover, which is just pre-cut sections if you choose to use it. I personally am not a fan, but I so I don't use it. <laughs> I uh, still section as usual. At the bottom left, we have a little thumbnail of the image. We have the skew, of the name of the kit, the size, and the artist. Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of their kits, so that just means the artist is being fairly compensated for the use of their work. At the bottom we have Diamond Art Club socials, where to find them, and your lifetime warranty, so if anything goes wrong with your kit, you can reach out to Diamond Art Club and they will help get you sorted. Alright. I'm gonna zoom in just a little. There we go. So we can take a look at these symbols. I'm trying to make sure it's not bouncing. <laughs> Which, they look really good. Now this kit has a lot of more um, confetti, so things like this you'll be searching out your the colors more often. It just means there's a lot of colors in a small section. Compared to something back here, where this would be color blocking because you have that same color through a larger portion of the kit. Which, and it looks like this one has a good mix of both, of course. Um, once you get into the details, like the flowers, her cauldron, you know, the books, things down there, her hair, her eyes, that's going to be more confetti. But the background seems to be a lot of color blocking, so that will be nice. Okay, let's take a look at these diamonds. Lots of browns. That's a pretty color. We need six five. Here is our first special. So we have Z3865, which is our fairy dust. It's a white fairy dust. Which is always tricky to see, but fairy dust have this like mica glitter powder right on the top of the diamonds that give it this like gentle shimmer effect. It's a little tricky to see on this color. I'll see if I can find another one for us. But this is our first best special. That's a pretty red 3 2 one. Pretty. 
another pretty red. Yes, so lots of browns, lots of oranges and reds. I feel as though we're missing one special yet. Oh, there it is. So we have our AB 131. It is a yellowy orange color. AB just stands for Aurora Borealis. It is the iridescent coating that is placed on the top of the diamonds that make it reflect like the northern lights. So you'll see a lot of blues, purples, greens, some pinks sometimes. Yeah, nice color. And then just some small handful of colors for some detail. Oh, there's a second one. 133 is that orange AB. Yeah, just some small handful of colors for some detailing. Okay. Oops. Yes. Set this upright. We are looking for those specialists and we're gonna find where they go on the canvas. So we're looking for symbols one and two, N, J, and the dot. We're going to, as always, I start at the top, work our way down. <laughs> so we have right we have that N right in the ring of this lantern there. Followed by some ones, so that yellow AB highlighting here. We have ends and ones inside the lantern, so that's the brightest yellow, both brightest yellows in the lantern. And this light here with some couple, a couple of those two, so that orange in there. We have that J, so that slightly darker yellow, highlighting some spots down in these chains the J highlighting on her hat here, so that darker yellow still on the edge of her hat. We have some ends right in here, so that brighter yellow. J's right behind her hat, one outlining the edges, so that yellow AB. We have ends in the star, and that white, the brightest white you see there, is that white fairy dust. That too, so that orange highlighting the edge of the star. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> right along the edge of the lanterns, we have that white fairy dust. It is also the brightest white in her hair. We have that pale yellow fairy dust highlighting the frame. Oh, I'm definitely going to miss some. I'm going to do my best, but I feel like I'm going to miss some. We have some of that pale yellow fairy dust highlighting in these flowers more of that the brightest white that you see in her glasses in this little poof of smoke that's that white fairy dust we have some jays highlighting so that darker fairy dust darker yellow fairy dust highlighting her hair we have ones at the back of her hair here so that's that yellow ab we have ends along this little orb here what are you Oh yeah, it's just like a crystal ball. So we have some of those, that pale yellow fairy dust right along here. Oh, this is a good patch of that darker yellow right in the frame, the darker yellow fairy dust. Some more of that dark yellow highlighting in here. We also have the white fairy dust highlighting all in here. We have white fairy dust highlighting in her hair. It is oh, just a couple in this bottle. We have the ends highlighting on her hands. Um, and in the flame of the candle, we have some more of that white highlighting the book and her hand. We have some ends of... Nope, that's not anything. Actually, that could be fairy dust. I could change it. Oh, it is. What am I doing? And it is fairy dust. It's that lighter one. It's right along here. <laughs> I just woke up. Sorry for any mistakes. <laughs> we have J's along the edges of this flower, so that's that darker yellow. With a couple of dot a dots of that white highlighting in these drops. Ones and ends, so both of those pale yellows in the bottle. Some whites highlighting on the books and the materials down here. 
And then we have more of the white highlighting this bottle. Okay, this is absolutely adorable. <laughs> I think this is so cute. I love the color palette. Like a lot of those browns and oranges, they're going to look so nice together. Okay, I'm going to roll this one up and grab the next one. Alright, the next one is Purple Mountain Majesty. It's a little itty bitty guy. the logbook sticker. It is the older style packing. They also have a lifetime warranty um, because they sold these on Amazon first and to get that lifetime warranty you had to sign up for it. So there's that. We have the old style of toolkits. We have our cover minder and washi. And our kit. Oh, look how cute it is! It's so little. All right. Here is the canvas. This actually looks so good for the size. Usually, um, I'm used to seeing the landscapes be like massive kits, like 50 by 70 or bigger, but this is such a cute little one. It looks so good. All right, guys. Here is our sticker sheet. Uh, Purple Mountain Majesty is the name by Wanda Mum. Here's that artwork. It is round 42 by 32 centimeters. It has 47 colors. One AB, one, two, three fairy dusts. Cool, let's... Do we want to crack into the colors? Kinda. Um, actually, this kit has this entire, like, top half is color blocking because that's just background sky work things like that but once you get down into the lake and the trees that is all confetti but it's such a cute little kit like it would not take long to do <laughs> all right lost rights to this kit. <laughs> I, uh, I brought it home. Well, I opened the shipping box and my mom decided that it was her kit as soon as I'm done. So, <laughs> Z3354, a nice pink, is our next fairy dust. So, as soon as I work on this kit, I will be handing it over to my mom. 104 is such a nice, like, pale peachy color for that AB. Love that. Yeah. Some really pretty colors in here, and of course, it's just going to be tiny handfuls. It is such a small kit. This actually is one I wouldn't kit up. I would just open these bags as I go. Um, yeah. Ooh, it's C 3807 I think this is best one to see that coating so far. It's like a gray blue, purpley blue, gray purpley blue, somewhere in there. Yeah. In all honesty, I would just work. 
kind of chaotic on this one. I just feel like it wouldn't be worth the time to kit up as usual. Anyways, we are looking for one for that AB. Um, the arrow, the eco sign, and the heart for those fairy dusts. So, we can go color by color for this one because it's so small. <laughs> this right here is that one. Um, so it goes along here, highlighting in the clouds, and then a couple in the reflection of the lake. The arrow is all of this right in here. So it's just um, uh, this transitional color in the sky is that purple. And it's also highlighting on the edges of the mountain. And the equal sign is along the edge of the mountains, highlighting in here. Yeah, highlighting along the top, a little bit in this cloud, along the edges over here. There's also a couple of it is sprinkled in this reflection. And then we have the heart, which is this very pale symbol that's actually kind of... I don't know, once it get closer, it's super easy to read. But there's a couple just sprinkled right in these blues. Um, along the water here, some more along here, and then they were just at the top of the water there. Oh, this is such a cute little kit. Like, it looks so good. Okay, um, this was a short one. I'm gonna grab the next one. Alright, the next one is Maven. I think. I'll go with that. And then if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, it is a pink box because this one is round in their newer boxes. So that's neat. Even this, like, on the side for the square box, it was squares. This one's bubbles. So that's kind of cute. <laughs> We already looked at this. Okay, here is our sticker sheet. I like it. Alright, so here is that image. It is 66 colors, round 55.6 by 78.7 centimeters. It is by Anne Julie. Angelie Aubrey. So it has 66 colors, like I said. 180K is, um, oh, what did Stamina Clip call them? I'm blanking, but it's a metallic. Um, and then we have three fairy dusts. I really can't recall what it's called right now. Um, iridescent? No. My mind's not working. <laughs> Anyways, here's the top. <gasps> oh, look at those colors! Oh, I love this. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. and chills? Maybe. Anyways, um, this kit actually looks like a lot of color blocking. The most confetti I see is within these leaves and apples that she's holding. Her hair, sorry, her hair and her crown, flowers, whatever you would like to call it. And then there's a lot of color blocking within the background. Her dress even has a lot of that line blocking, so it's just kind of color blocking, kind of not. The leaves. Ooh, okay. We're gonna zoom right on in. 
I honestly cannot tell you what this symbol is. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Honestly though, I'm going to shoot um, Diamond Art Club an email and just be like, hey, um, what symbol is this? <laughs> and I'll be good to go. I could even do process of elimination, like it's really not that big of a deal. I'm sure if I send them an email and just be like, I'm having difficulties, what symbol is this? They will let me know. Because it's not you. Me. Okay. I say that it is really not a big deal. It is a very easy thing to fix. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I'm fine with that. She looks so pretty. I would almost say it's the same thing with this color in her eyes, but I feel like it's distinct enough that I could figure out it's 640 because it's the only one with that shade of a background. But yeah, okay. Anyways, we're gonna put her on her side. I'm gonna zoom right on in. And take a look at these specials. these specials we're gonna find our specials but we're gonna look at all the colors <laughs> this one's going to have a lot more browns and grays and blues with some pops of colors in those oranges and yellows oh gorgeous oops I don't even think half of that was in frame my bad I think it's been a while since I worked on the Diamond Art Club round kit. I should get back on that. Here is our fairy dust Z3340. A nice bright orange. And I think this is the best one we've seen that coating on so far. But yes, you can see that mica dust powder right on the top. That's not a powder. And then a lot of these colors for highlighting, detail work, the lights, our first AB, first one, <laughs> it's 131, one AB, so that bright yellow. Oh, and our next fairy dust right beside it, Z793, kind of a bluey gray color. And there is that metallic. So K444, it has a yellow base, but it shines gold. So you won't see that bright yellow, just the gold coating on the top. And then we have more browns, some peaches. Right, yellow, 3820. Okay. So, let's. Oops, sorry, I'm bumping everything. <laughs> let's figure out where those specials go. So we are looking for one P, the four corners, and the little wand. Nice. Okay. So we have the brightest yellow within these flowers. Is that yellow AB? Um, it might be tricky. So there's this blue right in the flowers of her crown. So that's that blue fairy dust. It might be tricky to see all of these just because there's so few. 
Oh, we also have that wand so that um, orange AB within these flowers. It's up here as well. I have a feeling. Oh, and the K, which is that arrows, and that is her symbol on her head is that metallic, that gold metallic. We have some of that orange fairy dust highlighting in her hair. We have those peas in her eyes. So, which, ah, yeah, so this, did we even look at this one? Did I feel like we were past it? It is this gray. <laughs> so that's in her eyes. We have ones in her hand. So that yellow AB. That might be it. <laughs> Again, there's not a lot, so I don't expect there to be a whole lot throughout this canvas. Yeah, that's all I can see. So it's mostly focused on these leaves in her hand. Um, up in her crown and then the center of her forehead for that metallic which I kind of expected when I purchased this kit that it would end up there. All right, this is Maven. I'm going to roll this up and grab our last one. All right, the last one I have is the Morrigan by Chris Bug. Sorry, I have to close this because the sun, <laughs> the sun is just blinding, so we're a little darker now. Uh, this is the full image. It is 60 colors square, 65 by 100 centimeters. And there is our color spread. We have one AB, one iridescent, and four fairy dusts. Okay. Just, just sit there. Ooh. This is the bottom of the canvas. Oh, that looks so pretty. There's lots of color blocking in this one. I love how this looks with the fabric. That looks awesome. Okay. I think this is as good as it's going to get for a full view of the canvas. But this is gorgeous. Oh, I love this. Look at the little crows. I figured out where the edge of my desk is. <laughs> this kit is pretty much color blocking, except for like the details in her dress, in her hair, and face. So I could see this one, despite being massive, working up fairly quickly. But yeah, it's mostly like there's some confetti within her clothing, but then everything else is color blocking. Right, let's pick up this diamonds. Oh. Cool. There is going to be. of the same color just because of the same. That's a pretty brown. Some packs. I really love 
love these blues and grays. This is going to be such a pretty piece. Especially when you get into these pops of red. That's going to look gorgeous. better I guess. Okay, so we are looking for one square for that iridescent, the corner, kind of like a sun, X, and a dot for those fairy vests. So, we have the X all along here highlighting on the crow, which is that pale peachy one I believe. That is that peachy one. We have a few ones sprinkled along this arc, so that is that yellow AB. We have some dots sprinkled in the background, which is that fairy dust. We have a couple of that um, darker orange within the crow's eyes, actually her eyes as well. We have those iridescents in her ear for her earring, so that yellow crystal. We have that white fairy dust along her arm and across her shoulders and collarbone. Um, more of that white sprinkled in the background. We have the axes again, so that peachy along the crow. And is that. I'm gonna move her down. So we have this bright orange in here. Is that lighter orange fairy dust? With X, which is that peachy one doing some highlighting. We have that darker fairy dust highlighting along her legs and sprinkled in her foot. And that seems to be, oh, there's some of that darker orange sprinkled throughout the bottom, too. And that seems to be about it. There was very little, so I'm not surprised that there is so few within this kit. It was just highlighting within her, which I think looks really well and will work well for this kit. Alright, um, that is all I have for you today. Let me know out of the four which one was your favorite. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.